the Bible says that man was called Adam because he was taken out of the Adamah. Now there's a lot of stuff about the Hebrew word for man that I bet you don't know. Not only is Adam the name of the first man, but it's also the Bible word for mankind. The phrase Ben Adam is also the modern Hebrew phrase to mean a human being, a son of Adam. Related to the Hebrew word Adam is also the word for blood, which is Dam, or the Hebrew word for red, which is Adon. There's even a connection in the Psalms with the word for blood and the idea of guilt. This is all kind of tied to the first man, Adam. In Daniel chapter 7, Daniel has a vision of one whom he calls the Son of Man, who comes in the clouds of heaven to the Ancient of Days. And the Ancient of Days gives him dominion and power and glory and an everlasting kingdom that all people should serve him. This is revealed in the New Testament to be the Messiah himself. In fact, Jesus' favorite term to refer to himself is the Son of Man. He actually quotes that passage from Daniel chapter 7 when he's brought before the high priest during his trial before his crucifixion. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Messiah would be fully God in a human body, but he'd also be a descendant of Adam. How would this work? Well, the Bible says that a virgin would conceive and bear a child, and this one would be the Messiah of Israel, the Son of Man and the Son of God. Jesus is referred to as the second Adam, meaning the Son of Adam, the Son of Man, who undoes Adam's sin. He pays for the curse and transgression and penalty which was caused by Adam himself. And it's through him, through his blood and his sacrifice on the cross, that we can have salvation, forgiveness, and a restored relationship with our Creator.